So, Bob, let's start with the obvious one uh, in terms of Oscar. Um, did this catch you by surprise, and what does this do for you guys going forward? Um, did it catch me by surprise? No. Um, what do we do going forward? We're going to win more games. I mean, I think this gives us an opportunity to, uh, um, to be able to spread the floor a little bit more. You know, I mean, uh, guys, guys like JB, you know, will be able to spread the floor, make shots, give Derek a lot more room to work down there. Charles Montgomery. Going off of that, Coach, when you lose Oscar like this and then you already lost control earlier, do you want to put more on Gabe Osaboyan maybe to put more offensive production under him as another big man, or is it kind of just make him stay in his own game? No, we just want, we, we just want Gabe to stay in the game. I mean, what, what Gabe does for us was better than any big we had. We just couldn't keep him in the game long enough. So, um, <clears throat> Gabe's been extremely valuable. Uh, you know, to us for a lot of different reasons. You know, he's he's not a guy hunting shots for sure, and and he can rebound it, he can pass it, he can do a, a myriad of things. We just got to keep him on the floor longer. That's all. <clears throat> Cody Nesper is next. Hey, coach, does this does this open up opportunities for a guy like Senny, or or more so guys like Jalen? Uh, and uh, Emmett to just take more minutes. Well, yeah, I mean, anytime, anytime you're a man down, it opens up opportunities. And it, it's what they make of it. That's up to them. We'll go to Justin Jackson. Coach, uh, just kind of going off the way the press release was uh, worded, uh, this move with Oscar, is this a – can you say if this is a permanent thing, temporary? Uh, is there do we have to return at all this season, later this season, I guess? No. No, absolutely not. Uh, no return. You know, Justin, we got guys that have, have worked their butts off, you know, and, and, and have worked their butts off all summer um, uh, that to, to get an opportunity. And, I mean, they get an opportunity. I'm, I am more than confident that, that they will uh, do a great job for us. So why would we, why would we screw that up? Chris Anderson. Coach, I don't mean to keep harping on, but you, you said this did not catch you by surprise. Could you expound on that? No. John Antonic. What do you do? The Gabe slide in here, or are you still deciding what you're going to do with that spot? We can do a lot of things. You know, we could do a lot of things. I mean, I, th I think it depends on uh, the opposition, uh, depends on what we're trying to get. Uh, you know, I think you put, for instance, you put JB at the four spot. JB, uh, a, a year ago at the end of the year, rebounded the ball better than anybody other than Derek in practice, you know, before we got shut down. And we were all like pumped up and really excited about JB, you know, getting time uh, and, and made shots, you know, and he struggled a little bit to make shots to this point. But I mean, I'm, I feel a hundred percent confident that he's a guy who's going to be able to step out there and make shots, spread the floor, gives Derek so much more room to, to, to operate. And, I mean, and let's, let's tell the truth. I mean, he's the best big in the league. Derek, by, by far, is the best big in the league. And so uh, to have him ISO down there is not a bad thing. Does it impact what you do with Emmett at all, maybe a little bit too? 
No, not really. I think I'm an, I mean, I, I think I think he could play a little bit of four for us. Did a freshman. If you remember, when we beat Texas Tech, he was the four man. He, he's the guy who got the dunk in transition. Um, that kind of really, uh, I think, excited everybody. Um, so we could do that. Like I like where Emmett is. I think he's in a good place. Mike Kazaza, go ahead. Hey, Bob, you've um, kind of mentioned a couple of times that Oscar had, a, I think you said, a rough summer and that maybe he was doing things away from the game that he could have been putting toward the game. It sounds like there's been some sort of a distraction there. Are all of these things from his performance to the stepping away intertwined? You know, Mike, in all due respect, I really don't want to talk about Oscar. I want to talk about our team. Uh, I want to talk about the guys that, that, that are here that have worked their – Tails off, you know, all summer long. Um, came to work when we didn't know whether we were going to play or not. Um, I mean, those guys deserve all credit in the world. And I'm sure they're chomping at the bit to get an opportunity to show what they can do. Greg Hunter. So, Coach, have you gotten a chance to see, talk to Isaiah Cottrell? Mm -hmm. uh, does he have to have surgery? And, and do you have any idea what his rehab length is going to be? Greg, he said that to me, saying to me that, uh, I, you know, we want to be around those kind of guys. He came in to just that the skirt. And stayed the whole practice, stayed the whole practice because he didn't want to miss out on anything, you know. And I mean, and that's that's the kind of guys that we're fortunate enough to have in this program. Um, so you know, I'm I'm uh, you know I we, we're 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 going to be really good this year, but I think getting Isaiah back does nothing but really elevates us another another step up the rung or two. <clears throat> Justin. Coach, kind of going off what you were saying there as far as, you know, preparing, uh, adjusting the guys there. Um, I I'm guessing there hasn't been a whole lot of time to kind of tinker with new lineups or new strategies. Uh, you know, obviously it's a big game coming up. Uh, it, you know, Will there be enough time to, to kind of, you know, introduce something new or, 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 you know, just, you know, preparing for this game? Um, how do I say this? We got great guys. We got absolutely great guys. And um, obviously they were all there yesterday. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> they were all there yesterday. So they know what the game plan is. Uh, they know what we're going to do, how we're going to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm more excited about uh, uh, about the opportunity to go uh, play a couple games this weekend now than I have been from from the beginning. I mean, because of their attitudes, uh, their willingness to to work, their willingness to learn, uh, and how much they they sincerely and truly do care about. Uh, this basketball program, this university, and certainly this state. Mike Kazaza. Um, your your depth usually, Bob, has been to to wear down other teams a little bit and to kind of, I think you call it the cumulative effect. This is kind of a, a different redemptive point of your depth in that it does sound like you could play different ways and, you know, adapt to opposition here. That that's positive. I'm guessing out of this is you kind of actually get to see what this roster can do now. No, I think I think it's a it's a huge positive. Uh, you know, I'm I'm sitting there, for instance, the last game, and I, you know, it's it's not like you look down the bench anymore because you're not allowed to have a bench. It's like guys scattered everywhere. You know, it's kind of it's kind of like playing jacks. If y'all ever played jacks, I never did, but I did watch some people play. 
Um, and, and there's guys, you know, look here and you see Jalen there. Well, you want to get him in the game, you know, but there just wasn't the, the, the opportunity to get him in as much as we needed to get him in. And he deserved to be in, quite frankly. So, I mean, we're – personally, I'm excited about what those guys can do. And, again, Jalen Bridges was one of our top – at least three or four guys in practice a year ago. He rebounded it. He passed it. He made open shots. I mean, I, if he can play to the level that he played at at the end of the year a year ago, we got a heck of a player now. Back to John. Last one for me, uh, Oklahoma. Didn't hasn't played since the 22nd, but they probably played their best game of the year against Texas Tech. What do you see from them? What are the problems that they present? Well, I, I think the biggest problem is they got a heck of a coach. I mean, he's uh, he's got he's got a great uh, oh I don't I, I guess imagination for seeing things that. You know, you don't really have to be on the floor to see, you know, because of his background, uh, because of the fact, I think, that he was a, he was a great uh, athlete in a lot of different areas. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm yesterday, like, I'm watching the Stills brothers, and, and, and I'm thinking they could get some guys open for us now. You know, I mean, there's, 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 there's a lot of, there's a there there's a lot of similarities in 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 sport, and I think Lon certainly brings that. Uh, I think I mean the biggest thing that that concerns us is how well he coaches. Uh, you know, Reeves is really good. He's really good. Uh, you know, they, they can make shots. They they really make shots, and they get it away really quick. I mean, you've got to, you've got to close pretty quick on them. So they 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 bring a lot of a lot of issues to the table. But you know, the flip side is, John, they're sitting there saying the same thing about us. You know. They're they're saying, well, you know, they're gonna put another guy in who can make shots. So kind of one and the same. Keenan Cummings. Bob, you mentioned, you know, some of the lineup things you can do. Does that mean more three guard looks? And uh, also, who has the scout for Oklahoma? Ronnie's got the scout. I don't think it's – I don't I don't know that we – that we play three guards. Um, I mean, I think we're fine the way we are, to be honest with you. Cody? What kind of uh, player would you describe Brady Manic as? Is he a unique big man nowadays, or uh, just what kind of challenge does he bring? No, I think he's a stretch four, uh, and, and that's, that's how they're playing at the next level. They're not, they're not playing with power forwards. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't see, uh, you don't see anymore, you don't, you don't see like you know in the old days uh, the, the the Danny Fortsons, you know my guy. Uh, to, you, you just don't see those kind of guys anymore. It's more four around one, and uh, I mean obviously I think we can do that pretty well. And that's what they do with that's what they do with Manic to answer your question. I mean, he's he's not a back to the basket guy. And his release is as quick as probably anybody's in the country. And Greg Hunter. Bob, is Cindy ready to give you quality minutes in Big Twelve play or has he still got a lot of development left? You know what, Greg, he was really good yesterday. <clears throat> I mean, he was as good yesterday as he's been all year. Uh, the plan was never to play him. Uh, 
You know, it was to be in practice, go against Derek in practice every day, get better, which he has done. Uh, but I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a problem putting him in the game. I mean, he's he was really good yesterday. Yesterday was the best that that he's been since he's been here.